Leon Bailey in. Unfortunately, Leon Bailey out. So me, I talked to a mute mic a while ago. <laughs> Welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. Um, thank you very much again for tuning in, taking that 10 or 15 minutes or whatever time span out of your day to come and listen to this video. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, um, good night, whichever time span you're watching this on. Um, really appreciate, appreciate the support. So in the meantime, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We we'll thoroughly appreciate it if you do so. So as you guys can see, I have very, very poor timings in dropping video. So 9.30, I drop a video officially announcing the return of Leon Bailey and technically saying it's good to have him back in the setup. Despite what everyone might think, despite even what I might think where my opinions are concerned, it is actually good to have him back in the setup. On at 9.31, some seconds thereabout, Leon Bailey limps off the pitch from an injury. Very, very shocking news. Extremely shocking news. And it's very unfortunate because sometimes as players, the moment you try to, or oh, 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 can I say it? Like fix things, rectify things. That's when things just tend to just fall apart. And I do think that, and I do believe that he's trying to fix things both, um, both on and off the pitch where the reggae boys are concerned. So this injury setback is a huge blow. Now, I understand people might feel a particular way about it. You have some people who are who have said, boy, it's okay to not have him. But I do think that sometimes we are a little bit too harsh. But as fans, that's how we feel. And fans express themselves based on how they feel. Now, let me just read the article. I'm surrounding Leon Bailey. Then I'm going to give you some update on the nature of the injury. Um, Leon Bailey came off injured in Aston Villa's Premier League clash with Leicester City this afternoon. The winger appeared to strain a muscle when he lunged in an attempt to block a pass in the final third. He was replaced by Jacob Ramsey in the 15 minutes of play. Bailey's natural replacement would have been Jaden um, Flown. Philo, Philogene, I think Philogene, I assume that's still pronounced. My apologies if not. Um, Philogene, but he's also believed to be injured and wasn't included in the match day squad. The 27 year old featured for, um, hasn't featured for his national team since last November, but accepted a return after holding talks with their new manager, Stephen McLaren. Jamaica will play two CONCACAF Nations League fixtures against Cuba and Honduras. Una Emery give an update on um, filling in full, at full time. 22 year old selected to represent England's U21 on Friday along with Villa teammate Morgan Rogers. So that is what I meant by Leon Bailey in and also Leon Bailey out. As I said, it's very unfortunate. I'm specific around the nature of what's happening. But the problem here is when will he return on the pitch so it's unfortunate because he won't be able to represent jamaica at the national stadium and, and versus honduras and also it's unfortunate for us and villa and it's unfortunate for him because now the timeline surrounding his return is of um question now the physio scout football injuries injury analysis this is a premier league website um where the, some physios come together to formulate this website and they they make calculated i should i say um reference in regards to injuries and clear up dates how long players will be out um so you can check it out for yourself it's called physio scout and you will most definitely see them um premier league and champions league specialists analysts from a sports science perspective um so basically football injury analysts so they analyze injury so this is what they had to say about the injury that leon bailey um, picked up Liam Bailey was take, uh, taken off with an armstring injury. 
with my apologies the hamstring injury stretch mechanism as he was trying to intercept the ball hopefully tightness rather than a strain but even a minor strain could see him out of action for two plus weeks scans will determine recovery time however it looks to be less serious recovery time frames and they also gave us a recovery time for it grade one two to three weeks out and then he will be able to touch pitch where he's start to start train on the pitch grade two four to six weeks out so this is actually huge that means Liam Bailey will now miss a, a lot of games potentially a lot of games um for Aston Villa and as I said the dangerous part is he, he wants to have a good season and he has been so riddled with injuries time and time again and it's very unfortunate and you can see that he's frustrated consist um consistently getting all of these injuries and it's 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 it's, it's tough i i think it's tough for him you know he wants to be fit he wants to consistently play um, playing football he wants to represent um both club and country and every time he takes a step it just feels like he, he, he just 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 step back like two step forward and five step back and I do think that that must be very frustrating for him. Um, it's just quite unfortunate. Uh, but you also have to look at, like, his, 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 me his, his scientific mechanism, just his natural body, and try to understand what is, is the reason for, for this consistent muscle injury. Um, so there's something, something must change. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not a science scientist. I'm not a physio. But certainly something must uh, must change um, so, it, so that he can be able to overcome these types of muscle strain or whatever is um, Isidore. It's not like, say, it was a huge collision or anything like that. He was just trying to intercept a ball and to walk away like that. That must be frustrating. Um, so, I have to say, it's speedy recovery, um, where that is concerned. Um, I do think that... As I said, this this he wants he wants an injury free season. He really wants an injury free season to showcase what he can do. Specifically, what he did last season. She just continue that bitter run and just bad start. I have to say, just a, just a bad start for him. It's, we're in August and he's already seen um, injuries, and we don't know what the rest of the season has in store for him. So we just have to hope for the best, hope for a speedy recovery, and hope that when he comes back, he will come back fully fit and in form in shape so that he might see some regular game time where national call-ups are concerned unfortunately he's back but technically he is not um when we'll see him in the national setup quite unsure of that and that's definitely a difficult one difficult one to understand where, where when will that we'll see him um but we'll see how this one materialize hopefully it's not a serious in serious one maybe hopefully this is grade one and we will see him back quite soon anyways tell us what you think in the comment section people big up themselves smash that button speedy recover um leon bailey hopefully come back fully fit and fresh um for Aston villa and then we'll see you again next time for the reggae boys happy that it's a good sign that he, he actually accepted and um the, the call up or re return to the squad and as i say again just unfortunate how this little small moment it's just a small setback still nothing major uh, we'll see you guys again. Anyways, people, big up on yourself, smash like button, hit the subscribe button, and MG Sports. We'll see you guys again later. <laughs> and we're out. God bless. Boom. Now, I mean, like, share, subscribe, people. Link in the comment section. Support us if you can.